everyone, how are you going? Hope you're having a fantastic day, wherever you are. I've just, something's going on in all over the world, crazy stuff, but I'm going to share this one. Gog and Magog revealed Hoover Dam, Antichrist, Satan. In this article, I'll explain to you what the connection between Sohn, Hoover Dam, the Antichrist, and Gog and Magog. I'll show you an important events related to the subject, which seems to be announced that something very big is coming soon. I highly... Okay. I'm not going to play these videos. Um, I don't want to strike, so I'll leave the link in the description and you can check it out. I had to find it on the Wayback Machine. It had been scrubbed. Okay. CERN is the biggest uh, accelerator of particles in the world and it's located in Switzerland. The official goal of CERN is to reduce reproduce the conditions of the Big Bang, but reproducing these conditions may open the door to another space-time dimensions. Everything with CERN indicates a very dark occult role played by the organisation. Their logo is 666. And they have them all over the world. It's not just Switzerland. Um, MIT University has one. They are everywhere. Even Australia has one small um, particle accelerator. There's this huge statue of Shiva, Kaledi, the Hindu goddess of death and destruction, and one of the newest representations of Satan. The statue is with a circle represented, actually Satan passing through the portal, which is to be opened by CERN. Shiva, Satan, overshadowed CERN. Kali equals Satan, coming through the dimensional portal, opened by CERN. Kali coming through the portal, bringing death and destruction. The true role of CERN is not really to create, recreate the conditions of the Big Bang, it's actually to engineer a huge extra low magic, electromagnetic bomb in the form of the CERN dome, which will be used in Hoover Dam in order to open the portal. Hoover Dam is a huge dam located in Colorado, United States. It's full of very satanic symbology, which shows the occult dark role that it will play for the release of Satan and his Nephilim, Gog and Magog, into our dimension two angels and they got like um, scaly skin on them you can see at their feet scaly skin they call them the tuning forks whose dam was built in the shape of a portal so of a woman rebirth and the bridge was built in 2012 particularly of Hoover Dam, Hoover dam is that it not only produces electricity it also stores a huge amount of energy this particularly will be combined with the CERN mm -hmm, in order to open the dimensional portal. This stored electricity will be released in the waters of Hoover Dam and when the mm -hmm, mm -hmm, will touch the water full of electricity, it will provoke a huge electromagnetic reaction which will open this dimensional portal. The portal is said to be one of two entities of a wormhole, which other side is Saturn. This explains why the occult, why the cult of Satan always refers to Saturn. Saturn seems to be because of Satan and his army of Nephilim, Gog and Mog. This portal is called the Bottomless Pit because when it opened, there will be so many demons coming from it that their coming will seem endless. Who are Gog and Magog? The Quran confirms this story with a very accurate way and confirms that Gog and Magog are indeed these Nephilims coming from another dimension. The Muslims believe Earth is not a unique planet, but rather God created several planets like Earth throughout the universe. He created seven heavens from Earth like them. Command descendants upon them heavens at Earth so that you may know it's capable. Okay. In... Islam, Earth is not a unique planet. Other planets like Earth do exist throughout the universe. And it says other planets, planets also have land animals. So, according to the Quran, the heavens have land animals like our Earth, not just angels. Actually, the Quran says that some of those extraterrestrial creatures will invade Earth one day. There is a wormhole right here on Earth that connects Earth with another planet. One day, the creatures on that planet will use the wormhole to invade Earth. Um gave a method of transport to his angels through the universe. Quran calls them the Magi and describes how angels use them for long distance travel. Today they have known Magi. These sentences is called scientists call wormholes. There's a picture of a wormhole. See how angels can reach any place in the universe before you finish reading the sentence. They also believe wormholes are not strictly for the use of angels. The prophet used a wormhole once 
in the Aso and Maja, sorry for saying it wrong, um, all the incidents of crime can describe clay, clan of Yegog and Magog using the wormhole. This clan who didn't understand human speech were wreaking havoc on earth. They came from beyond the two dams that a human called Thal Kranan built. He built the two iron dams, one at each end of the Magi. This, the ends of the Magi look like two shells, exactly like modern science describes as doorways to a wormhole. The wormhole is completely transparent, however, it caves, carves its shape in whatever matter it's in. In this incident, it is on a mountain, so it carved its shape, a shell in the mountain, one shell at each end of this wormhole. Two shells in this verse are the two entrances to the wormhole. He bought iron blocks, blocks and split them equally between the two ends of the magic wormhole, melted the iron into the dams, one dam at each end. Once this wormhole became inaccessible to that clan, they can no longer wreak havoc on Earth. One day this dam will break and Yagog and Magog will wreak havoc on the Earth again. So he followed the wormhole direction. When he reached between the two dams, he found beyond them a clan that could not understand speech. The local humans said, Yagog and Magog are spoiling the Earth. Shall we pay you tribute and in return you build us them and them a barrier? Um, what my lord endowed me with is better than your tribute. Supply me with manpower to build between you and them a sediment. Bring me the blocks of iron with he. He split the iron equally between the two shells. The doorways of the wormhole, he said, blow on the fire until it became a blaze. And he said, bring me the molten iron and pour it. So Yagog and Magog can no longer access the shell on their side nor pierce through the iron dome. Mercy from the Lord, but when the promise of my Lord is true, he will make it into waste, and the promise of the Lord is true. On that day, when the dam becomes waste, the word Saturn in Arabic means two dams. It comes from Sad, which means dam. However, it was mistranslated to other languages as two mountains. Another word for Sad from in Arabic means two shells. It comes from Sadifa. Sorry for saying it wrong, which means shell. However, it was misinterpreted to two mountains, the common mistranslation. It presents wrong stories in other languages. The clan of Yagog and Magog are trapped beyond these two dams and not between them. So if they are beyond them, how could they be trapped? They can only be trapped if the second dam is not earth. The second end of the wormhole can be on the earth, but it can also be anywhere else in the universe. In this particular case, it has to be on another planet. So Yagog and Magog are trapped beyond the two dams, but not on the Earth. They are trapped on another planet, Satan, Saturn. And someday these dams will break, and Yagog and Magog will invade Earth from that planet. There is a wormhole right here on Earth that connects Earth to another planet that has life. A very uh, Gago. Magog are not humans when reached beyond the two dams. Inside the wormhole, he found they can beyond them a clan which cannot understand their speech they are very numerous which means first to the bottomless pit they have mercy on the lord construction built seems to be a dam seeing the material and techniques he used blocks of iron no one will be able to defeat Gog and Magog they will be destroyed when judgment day will come so the goat satan project on the hoover dam and I made a video not long ago about it. So this is the great projection of the dam one. And the 2015, they did a show with Dharma Trucks. And also with the explosion and the fire, I have a photo of Obama looking at that exact transformer I'll show you. So here we have, I'm not sure what year it was, doing an official stop. He was looking at this exact transformer that blew up. So it's this, it's this one here. They like to tell you in advance, you know, they they don't just do this stuff. So in 2015, the Hoover Dam was destroyed in the San Andreas movie. And here is Hoover Dam in Transformers 4. And this is also part of the um, Dharma 2015 uh, 
project this one here where they projected that onto the wall okay transformers it must be the yeah um fantastic four there have been so many movies that show Hoover Dam as well as the Golden Gate Bridge, both of them. The movie shows a dimensional portal open from which comes a Satan-like figure from another dimension named Doom, portal and kind of Stonehenge circular structures like CERN, Dr. Doom, a Satan-like figure who comes from another dimension. Forbidden Empire 2015, main character makes a journey into Forbidden Secret World, which is the source of all evil, in which there are Nephilim-like creatures in the dark, which play the role of Satan, the androgynous once male, once female, to be protected against the devil. He has to draw a circle around him, the circle refers to the illusion of Satan, the whole movie is full of satanic references. Satan figure-like person like this, Satan, circle of Satan representing his illusions. Um, Nephilim like monsters, Lego Dimensions in 2015. And don't forget, not long ago, there was a Lego CERN. And it's got that guy, um, Christopher, I will try to take his name, from Back to the Future, the Doc. And he puts together a CERN and then he gets sucked in on the, um, out of it. So, what a mysterious. A powerful vortex suddenly appears in various Lego worlds. Batman, Gandalf, and Wildstyle bravely jump into the vortex as they journey into locations beyond their wildest imaginations and search for their friends. They soon realize that the Lord Vortex is summoning villains from across different Lego worlds to help him gain control. As his power grows, worlds mix, unexpected characters meet, and all boundaries are broken. The heroes must travel through space and time to rescue their friends before the vortex destroys all Lego humanity. So that was Lego Dimensions, Batman and Doctor Who. Lord Vortex. Dimension travels through wormholes. Terminator. Genesis 2015. John Connor sends Kyle Reese back in time to protect Sarah Connor. But when he arrives in 1984, nothing is as he expected it to be. The villain looks more and more like Satan-like figure. The movie also portrays dimension space-time travels, which allows new robots Nephilim to come into our space and try them. Portals like CERN, Satan-like figure for tech villain, when I simply Satan, and the cube, the black cube. Um, Australia has one in Melbourne, and they're all over the world. The new 2015 ads for the Canal French TV Provider of new box cube is straightforward. Satan like figure opens a portal which allows the black cube to come into our dimension. The cube is a symbol of Satanarian world of Satan. Also, remember um, Star Trek, the cube with the Borg? Um, transhumanism. Um, that's what that one's about. Uh, the one world religion of Satan is actually symbolized by a batch cube which can shape in many other forms, such as Cross of David. Yes, the cube. When it's folded out as a cross, but it can go into many different shapes. Uh, Black Cube, in case we didn't get it, they even added S for Satan. Satan like figure in the canal, NS Cube add opens the portal. Canal 2. Symmetry CERN clip to 2015. This clip shows people in CERN dancing like the dance of Shiva and I pet goat too. Then you see a man walking in the desert like a lost soul and Satan dressed in black watching him approaching him without him even realising it. Once touched by the devil, then you see the man falling into the bottomless pits of darkness. Imagine image of a lost soul falls into the internal darkness, and then you see the man trapped in the circle, and outside the circle you see Satan. The circle represents Satan's positions, illusions on the lost souls. The clip is very explicit. Clearly shows certain is an important aspect of spiritual warfare that Satan is leading against us. Some people dancing the death dance of Shiva, like in I Pet Goat 2. You remember the girl with the tiger on the back? I Pet Goat dance of Shiva. The lost soul of Satan watching from far. Satan approaching the lost soul and even touching it without him even realizing it. And CERN's opening, and then the tunnel in Switzerland was even more satanic. The Godhard tunnel. Um, once touched, the man's trapped in the circle, Satan's possession, illusion, the man falls into the bottom of the pit of darkness. I pet goat dance of Shiva at 4 minutes 50. 
Shiva Kali, Satan projected on the Empire State Building in New York City on the 10th of August 2015. A lot of stuff happened in 2015. Rejection of Shiva and the Empire State Building is highly symbolic and they say to Satan, Destroyer will come soon. Also shows Shiva shapeshifting in multi satanical forms. Shiva is a green reptilian with a third eye, the all seeing eye. And how come people aren't outraged over this? It's you know no no longer a Christian nature, nation. Shiva in black with the mocking tongue. Remember Miley Cyrus always pointing the tongue out. Kelly, I really recommend you to watch carefully the whole video. It contains much more details than written in the article. These signs all combined together clearly show that something is coming soon. They do not cipher their messages anymore. It is as if it's now too late that nothing can stop their satanic plan. Even, you know, Saturday. Saturday is the only English day of the week to retain its Roman origin. Saturday, Day of Satan in Southern Europe, called the Catholic Church, remembers the Jewish Sabbath in their names, French, Samadhi, and Spanish, Sabido. Um, America was also named Amaru, serpent god of the Canaanites, white double-headed a dragon turned eagle become the American symbol in White Washington DC and other capitals of states are so heavily laden with some Masonic and occult symbolism where America become began with thirteen colon, colonies, covens, symbolize the stars of Moloch and why the first American flag, the Gladstone, sported a coiled snake with the words Don't tread on me. This could be the case of new but not true in regard to attempts to smear Founding Fathers by new religion, but the history of the layout of Washington, D.C., Founding Fathers' membership in the Masonic organization testifies in favor of a Luciferian country hidden in plain salt sight, the wolf in sheep's clothing, we are the sheep unbeknownst until it's too late, and even Canberra here in Australia is laid out exactly the same. Who of them expected to be the next? Mm-hmm was born on the 20th of April and the British Petroleum Oil Spills Elite Sponsored Sabotage blew their wad on the same day exactly two calendar years ago. But the Hoover Dam isn't going anywhere this month. It's speculated that other events of a variety of sorts that have been mulled around the curious minds of the alternative news research groups as well as what if this then that crowd. Hoover Dam exhibits a multitude of symbolic references, often clues as to an impending action that could be taken by the powers that be, the overall construction of the dam, the sculptures and placement of the art is significant. If total mm -hmm, is indeed their aim, then obliterating the water supply, as noted by the recent disappearance of all the water from the huge natural water aquifer in the Shasta Mountain region, is imminent. But if it's not stealing the water from Lake Mead they want, the water will be used to lubricate a fault line area east of the San Andreas. This could be accomplished similarly as seen executed during the rainy season within the Mississippi River Basin. Hoover Dam, in a composite image below, prior to the shutting the river bypass system, the completed structure clearly exhibits the symbolic 1111 towers flanking the north side of the dam. The numbers predate the keypad combination on telephone for use when calling emergency services and the 911 is the sequence of numbers that identify the alien human genetics program as well as symbolic destruction and renewal or rebirth of this new world. It's also supposed to be the actual day that Jesus Christ was born, was 9-11. The number 9 stands for the ninth ray isolate um, blue beam disclosed in the film John Carter, which really refers to the ninth strand DNA transhumanism genomics. The number 11 strands for the twin angels, seen especially at the Hooved Dam, the mm -hmm, and so forth. When these are the twin structures, this is possibly that they are earmarked for. Mm -hmm. The 11 means a gate that splits like a cracking the, the genomic code, a duality. The arch means passage through and rebirthing of the new man, perhaps. Still not clear. And this is in France. It's for the Canadian... Um, War Memorial, and just, just it looks like a dam behind on that bit, kind of like a rebirth, also. Um, pictured above the Canadian National V Memorial is one of Canada's most important overseas war memorials. It's constructed as a national memorial for those Canadians who gave their lives in the First World War. It's located in France on the site of the Battle of Vimy Ridge. The memorial stands atop a hill 145 near the towns of Vimy and Givenchy and Colour. France, 
deemed the area surrounding the monument about one kilometre square to be Canadian territory in 1922 as an expression of gratitude to the Canadian people for their sacrifice during the war and capturing the Vimy Range in April 1917. This is the dam. Wow, look at how that's built. It's supposed to be built in like uh, pyramid structures, but look at that. Wow. Look here on the $50 note, the intake towers are there, the split, and then the arrows below indicate a bridge over the dam, so the bridge is now built, and below the new $50 note, the bridge has been destroyed and the water is flowing over, the sky is red indicating an explosion, so the bridge is gone, and water is going over, the white areas indicate water measurement, and the structure represents the dam. Very interesting, it's built like that, with that there, and then that there. It's first very interesting. I've heard that they do put um, explosive stuffs in dams and bridges when they build them. They do over Sweden and Germany and all that, still to this day. Um, a lot of places do. An older verse and U50 dollar bill represents here a dam before and after a breach with spilling water over the birth of a new race. A nuclear plant in San Diego has been shut down since October last year and in lieu of mm -hmm, catastrophe, apparently inflicted by mm -hmm, as a mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> it's quite possible uh, there's, there's an excuse for breaching Arizona's construction or wonder is possible. As we've seen with the controlled demolition by extraordinary ordinary energy upon mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, over 10 years ago, Hoover Dam is nothing more than an easy target. Why would this happen? The recent exodus by world scientists from last July is one clue secretly debated about plans that have been made to initiate earthquakes in the Bajar that would secretly severely cripple and kill residents in Encina, Mexico, on the Bajar Peninsula. They were aware two years previously that technicians warned of the plans that mm -hmm, would be implemented as a catalyst that triggers earth-changing events there. And there's a YouTube channel that is showing all of this. I'll leave the links in the description. And this person is just amazing at showing all this stuff. Often we experience the invitation prior to the event that occurs by watching the Hollywood films. The film Dam 909 has a story to tell and it may be a preview to the real destruction of the mm -hmm. The $50 bill may be mimicked, mm -hmm. featured in the $20 bills fold within the same way. The Washington Monument, when viewed directly from above, maintains the exact same configuration that Hoover Dam was architecturally designed to immunate. The pattern you see below indicates includes a 120 degree one third arc slice of the circle, the roadway and landmarks carbon copy of the water intake towers in their bridge paths of the dam. A fundamental pattern is repeated architecturally and in the art. The outstretched hands of both sides of the chromosome make up of a human being. When merged, they foster the birth of a new man. This new human race is a result of a new world mm -hmm, designed for a transgenetic being that will be used for continued program of mm -hmm, deception and obedience to the new order of the gods, namely the global. Mm -hmm. The infamous 1111 is also represented by in sculpture Oscar Hansen, the dual angel statues wing figures of the Republic at Hoover Dam. Similar duality angels are represented worldwide. Angel of Death sculpture in Chernobyl made by Ukrainian artist. Looks a bit freaky, doesn't it? So Oscar Hansen knew something about German geometry and occult symbolism. Actually, he knew a lot. So the Washington Monument, the 120 degree arc, and the Hoover Dam, same thing, exactly the same. Hansen rose from private to major in the US Army. It was noted that he was a stoic, almost dealing with the occult, 
very special and in his near death experience changed his philosophy of life. From one of Hansen's and speeches in 1928, he expressed that affinity to the occult by saying man has always sought to express and preserve the magnitude of his exploits and symbols. The written words of symbols arranged so as to preserve in an objectified form throughout thought of the man and to record his variant states, both mental and physical, or other arts are similar as to their symbolic significance they take place among the category of human endeavor simply as to in, as the interpreter of life to itself they serve as an outer object typifying the inner process they form the connecting link between the spiritual and the material world they are the shadows cast by the realities of the soul so here is some more with the symbology at the dam Symbols of the occult can be diagrammed, plotted and decoded. The art of the occult follows a geometrical pattern, usually as framework to the genetic code, and when they're comparing the figure in his relief sculpture to a satanic goat symbol, there's a striking formula that was adhered here to. So the dam figure to birth of a N mm -hmm, Neo race, water breaking, figure of a mother about to give birth, mm-hmm, and the legs. So the legs was blown like I showed you in the video, the legs has been blown. And there's so much been going on lately. So the Callahan Tillman Memorial Bypass Bridge was completed in October 2012 and it's bright smack dab in our face. The bridge spans Black Canyon between Nevada and Arizona and it's positioned 1,500 feet south of the dam. It's almost 1,000 feet above the river as well. As far above the surface of Lake Mead and the dam, who the dam incidentally is serviceable pre-existing bridge that adequately allowed passage of extra wide cargo. For what reason a four lane width was necessary is explained with nonsensical rationale. Highway 93 which has been designated a North American Free Trade Agreement NAFTA route. The increasing congestion caused by the switchbacks leading to the Hoof Dam site and the restrictions at the dam crossing they claim had led to the development of the Hoover Dam Bypass Project. After the Trade Tower Saga of 2001, commercial vehicles including not only big trucks but passenger buses were routed through the Bullhead City for safety reasons concerning what a possible Mm -hmm. on Hoover. Mm -hmm. This was set up a matter of concern that would eventually set up the need for a bypass bridge and within 10 years in preparation for the speculated event. A second particularity comes to the surface concerning minor earth movements dangerously near Hoover Dam. Uh, James Smith, a concerned citizen, inquired with the USGS Event Notification Service asking for email notifications for every earthquake that would register greater than 2 on the Richter scale. He did this after the March 2011 event and thereafter in receipt of earthquake information until September 28, 2011. After seven months, there had been 66 movements that registered at least 2.0 nearby the vicinity of Hoover Dam. The movements, he found, had occurred after 6 a.m. in the morning, but never after 9 p.m. Arizona, Nevada time. He noted the measurements were never logged on Sundays, but on a rare instances on Saturdays. This would appear to be an odd and yet realistic coincidence. One would wonder what the odds are that a Tuesday during three quarters of a year had no recorded Richter scale readings. The smoking gum come to being on the 26th of April 2012. goes on about the military with um, Operation Snowbird um, that goes to the 50,000 rounds of ammo that was bought by the Bureau of Reclamation and then Operation Riverwatch. I'll leave the links in the description for you. Um, right, yep. There was talk in the um, World War Two that they were worried Hitler was going to come up <laughs> and blow it. I made a video about that because they had four pillboxes at the dam, only one exists today. And they were worried someone was going to come up in a submarine and blow it. Um, shares history of the earthquakes. 
So some of this stuff I'm not going to read because some of these words are just going to strike it down and no one's going to listen anyway. So I'll leave that one there and then I'll show you this one quickly. Madonna. Look at her here, you know. Um, 28 years ago, paralleled to the day, elements of the month, May 2012, the content included artificial intelligence of tiny biological workhorse of proteins designed to carry out such streams as mining gold from seawater. Uh -huh. Goes on about when he's predicted it. You just can't predict these stuff. You know, sometimes you could probably look at the occult days and what happens, but <laughs> you sit there and say it's going to happen on this day. It's just, you know... It's like lately the Vatican Bank said they need to have all their funds back in the bank by September 30 all over the world. Something like 500 billion it needs to go back. So something's going on on this month, big time. Um, the engineering achievement is a wonder, but it's exclusively just that. And it's not a natural wonderment at all. Only nature can create wonderful manifestation. The elite are creating synthetic power source and synthetic living eternal being, which is why they mask it with the word wonder, which it really stands for mystery. And look here, there's Madonna singing. As and they don't let people actually go into Hoover Dam anymore. On the surface, it appears to function only as an electrical output system using water power, gravity by which turbines are spun, but underneath the machines that are publicised by maybe alien technology related to harnessing and potential of special energies that could be referred to as the Night's Ray isolates disclosed in the film John Carter. This then would be why Project Bluebeam is actually, although it is likely to go by undisclosed term, that it has been completely blacked out so nobody discovers it is at Hoover Dam. Bluebeam is the cover story for that they tell the alternative news enthusiasts and activists that it is at the best fake alien invasion. I contend that it's far more complex than that. Again, I hope to be made... Uh, I don't say that word because it's not a nice word. Because I'd rather be all this fiction so please show me that you what your experience is rather lengthy article is bullshit i want to know that it can't be true featured on the front cover was was designed a satan's law phonies called technico madonna who represented the new age archetype the androgynous goddess of artificial intelligence perfect like the intent entertainer Madonna, except for the drop on her lip, a symbol of human capacity to err. The superstar entertained us during the Super Bowl with Roman Techno Show that held all the earmarks for the suspected Hoover Dam event. I watched these films with an open mind and what I found was more than I expected. What I didn't realise was that I was to crack a code. I looked at the Anunnaki and the reptilian grey's gold connection that is woven throughout the three themes revealed to us. As I make sense of it, the ongoing reptilian grey sponsored human hybridizing program. Although gold mining is not addressed in Mars Needs Mums, there is prevailing question as to why gold is important in both cowboys and aliens as well as John Carter. It is to the genome project of Mars Needs Mums, X-Files and so forth. What happened next? I watched John Carter one more time just to make sure I didn't miss anything. I found relationship between Mars and Earth, similar pyramid constructs on both planets, Egypt and Earth, etc. I had to wait for John Carter to make its debut at the rental store and procure Mars Needs Mums for screenshots I didn't think necessary until I realised I did miss something about who Madame and John Carter. I finally connected, contacted Jonathan Click, who first saw the relationship with the birthing concept and had to field a question as to what else he knew that is going to get him in trouble with the mm -hmm. I didn't so I hope they leave him alone oh yeah okay four films that tell us what Project Blue Beam is the globalists are on a quest to populate Mars with genetically altered human slaves the globalists are on a quest Oh, sorry. John Carter throws his airline ticket away. He prefers Mars. Cowboys and aliens. A beautiful shape shifter. Shifter. A third sacrifices herself for humans. Transformers. Describes Hubert Dam as a stargate that also gives life to machines. Shows us the location of the real Project Blue Beam. 
the Transformers X. And lately I got a coin, yeah, $1 coin back, and all it had on it was an X. Wow, I knew Australian coins had some occult stuff on them, but look, there's the square there, the box. And some of these other coins I'm looking at, um, it's got the snake. Where do I see that one? Snake. Oh, man, there's so many. But the coin I had on it was just XXXs, and then one come out the other day, it was a 50 cent piece that had binary code on it. Um, there's so many things going on, I really suspect these to be messages to us like to the elite that you know what's coming for the people I can't find the coin with the X that I've got on it must be really rare I think it come out this year it's just got a big X in it I don't know. Anyway, I'll find it. I'll dig it out and show you. I've got it in the safe with a few other coins that I've collected over the years that I find very suspicious. Like, that looks like, you know, a pentagram in the background. Um, it's, it's not like this one, but there is an X on it. It's, it's really strange. So SL, Second Life, could have also mean Slave, 21 is in gender. There are four relevant films that interweave elements regarding real-life plot lines using occult symbolism and deep Hollywood tells. The secret element is that it's fitted into the woven matrix, and all three is extremely complex in context, highly intricate and elusive. I feel that to analyse each film independently couldn't do the job as well as one complete composite and still massive scope. Try it. Number 21 is a thread to agenda and date of my calendar. Others, Milo's mother wears the SL jersey. Yeah. Simple answer is that all three films speak separate messages to different demographic, uh, demographic audiences relative to their age groups, and it's more than that. However, there are common denominations that do interwine from a big picture. Reptilian and grey aliens are battling against the Anunnaki for the supremacy over Earth's riches of gold at our expense. These films are reptilian and grey alien constructs for the purpose of taking from the Anunnaki what they created in the first place for themselves and a reflection in their image the human beings. The human hybrid program is intended to transform greys. This is the rationale behind the wise White eyes and the aquiline shaped alien look the size of the mountain. I haven't shrunk to that of the reptilian as also a giveaway to make the scheme work. They are conducting a massive human hybrid program along them by using our DNA in a battle against the human creator race from Nibiru. These alien walls are, that are alluded to are depicted with the exact trade in these film presentations. An alien war movie usually puts not two, but three or more enemies together in a battle. If the interpretations of ancient history are correct by the Sumerian analysis, the human species was genetically contrived with a specific pur purpose, slave workers with installed ethics to yield their own resources willingly. This labor force, among other things, was created for the mining of gold. And it had to be other, you know, Precious metals too, it wouldn't just be gold. It was in an effort to blend their Anunnaki genetics in a combination with the earthly humanoid. In Cowboys and Alien, the plot revolved around gold mining by overprotective aliens, but in John Carter, gold mining was not a focus, it was a desire. Indeed, both films had wars between three factions, and each I must tell you the idea is simple, but the complexity is blah blah blah. blah, blah, blah. Um. Disney released what they deemed a box office feature titled Mars Needs Mums. It was an emanated feature targeting the audience of mothers and their children. The market audience is selected to confirm the notion using the suggestion that Mars nor its inhabitants is so bad after all. What is established is that returning to Earth is eventually unimportant. Disney is just, um, yeah, I mean, Mickey upside down and back to front means wicked. That's what it means. 
it's wicked. I'm not going to get into all of this. I'll leave the links in the description for you. Goes on about these movies. I haven't seen any of these movies. I just don't watch this stuff. It's to me, it's just all programming. Square, circle, and triangle, common. Yeah. And you know all these swabs that they stick up your nose and send away. To me, that's just capturing your DNA. <laughs> Um, yeah, so X is a popular sign of the Freemasons, wow, and the Triangle. Interesting, Second Life Networking and Entertainment Media, which is symbol of my mum wears on an SL jersey, is rife with adult themes, with the ability to chart a course and socialise worldwide networking venue. The SL logo is the Eye of Horus, the Eye is represented as a figure of six parts corresponding to the six senses. These are six parts of the eye. The eye is the receptor of the input, and it has six stores to receive data. We have penal gland. Dr. Elwood Mead. Dr. Elwood Mead, born in 1858. Dr. Elwood Mead became a world-renowned water and irrigator engineer. He wrote Wyoming's first water code, the basis for codes throughout the United States, Australia, Canada, South Africa, and New Zealand. Wow, I didn't know that. He wrote the Carry Act, led water conservation and irrigation efforts in Victoria, Australia, and Palestine. Created rural instructions, institutions, programs for the University of California, and he led the first irrigation studies. He was with the Bureau of Reclamation's first commission, serving from 1924 until his death in 1936. His last great project was Hoover Dam. Placed this third day of November 2007 by the Guaho Posse Chapter 1919 of the Ancient and Honourable Order of El Campus Vitus and the Bureau of Reclamation. Holy uh, Isis Temple, Grand Canyon, Arizona. Looking south on the rim of the canyon, you can see a structure called the Isis Temple. It is a pyramid hewn from the solid rock clifftop and obviously man made. Two back backpackers fell finding the cave entrances that had been deliberately sealed, one having a clear six-foot circular pattern carved into the roof. Why would caves that are almost impossible and accessible need to be sealed up? What was originally stated location simply a mistake? No. Is it the Pyramid of Isis that the ninth ray genome isolate is found? John and Deja discussed the power to transport through space as if it's a telegraph, but the truth is it was viewed as a symbolic birth of man that it had been telling the story that it is hidden mystery, not just Egypt, but also Arizona, both arid deserts. And yeah, um, there, there, there have been some pointing towards America being, you know, the land where everything happened. So... It was theorized that the Nile River was created by alien technology. It was reported in 1909 that a certain G.E. King Cad of the Smithsonian Institute documented a startling archaeological discovery. 2,000 feet up in the Grand Canyon Wall above the Colorado River and 42 miles upstream from the El Trova Crystal Canyon, a cave entrance to a vast underground citadel. This city had a geometric pattern and it's almost a mile deep with several hundred rooms, but the full extent of it was still impossible to estimate. Yet the story becomes nebulous when the Smithsonian started, stated that it had not, no record of Mr. Kilcan or the expedition funding agent from the institution. Professor Jordan on record and one inquiry from the year 2000, the Smithsonian replied, we have received many questions about the article on April 5th, 1905, a Phoenix Gazette about G.E. Kynad and his discovery of a great underground citadel in the Grand Canyon, horned by an ancient race of oriental origin, possibly from Egypt. The Smithsonian Department of Anthropology has searched its files without finding any mention of Professor Jordan Kilcad or lost Egypt civilization in Arizona. Nevertheless, the story continues to be repeated in books and articles. There is room for cover-up, and of course, some have argued. Hieroglyphs similar to those found in Egypt were engraved on urns, tablets, and around doorways. The Great Pyramid of Giza also appears in John Carter. This pyramid is embedded with only a sacred water source found on the Mars Bazoom. While upside down and inconspicuous, this rather organic-looking, non-natural object is actually a perfect geometric. It is top face square in the base of pyramid. And 
like the Great Pyramid on Earth, there is a library of information that is off limits. What is interpreted in the Temple of Issues, an ancient scripture on the wall, is also mirrored with the meaning behind Hoover Dam. The arid desert of the southwest United States, it seems, is a place that closely emulates Egypt and the depiction of Mars and John Carter. There are many visuals at the dam as well as the film that references the two towers in the subtle yet prominent structures that make up Hoover Dam. Maybe the message read by Thoris to John Wilde in Sacred Temple, to those who seek the solace of eternity may journey down the river, Colorado, through the sacred gates Hoover Dam of Isis to find the everlasting peace in the bosom, bosom of Isis is exactly what is intended to replicate it in the Black Canyon on the Colorado River. So, in Mars Needs Mum, the imaginary and details do represent the main generators of Hoover Dam. Westinghouse generators built in, I think it'd be 1930s, such as these ones pictured on the far right, do have do not have similar details as the one on the left. The Westinghouse electric built generators for the... No number hydroelectric plants, including the Wilson Dam project plant on the Tennessee River and the Glen Collie Dam, for which they built the world's most powerful generator. So, ribs, windows are not like, yeah. I don't know. So, Oscar Hansen's procession designs of the Mayan star map. He was a very unique man. Besides his military service in the U.S., where he rose from private to major, the U.S. Army is historic. Almost dealing with the occult, very special. Read this before. His primary speech is 1928. Reminds me of the Maya language development he expressed. Man has always sought to express and preserve the magnitude of exploits and symbols. I right, read that before. In general designs, you'll find three main features that are not interconnected but they have a meaningful aspect to the Hoover Dam construction, the memorial plaque, the winged fingers of the Republic and the Celestial Star Map. 2001 I made a preliminary scratch of the layout, however that one did not represent the whole layout so I decided to revise the diagram to show the whole design. So here's the design, the Earth spins at 23.5 degrees angle to the plane of its orbit around the sun. The north and south poles take nearly 26,000 years to complete a circle. For an explanation of letters included in the diagram, see the photos in the text of research paper. Section A describes memorial inscriptions. Memorials set into Rock Canyon wall and pays tribute to the workmen labor. The inscriptions read, they died to make the desert bloom. The United States of America will continue to remember that many who toiled here who found their final rest while engaged in building of this dam. The United States of America will continue to remember those services of all who labored to clothe with substance the plan of those who first visioned the building of this dam. The above inscriptions commemorate the 96 workers who officially died during the construction of the Tuva Dam. There's that number, you know, the 99 or the 66. Section B shows Hansen sculptures, Nam as the winged figures of the Republic, placed on either side of 142 feet flagpole, the castings are 30 feet high, their shells are 5, five eighths inch thick, contain more than 4 tons of stationary bronze. The figures were formed from sand moulds weighing 492 tons. The bronze that forms the shells were heated to 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit and poured into the moulds in one continuous molten stream. The figures rest on the base of the back diorite in indigenous rock in order to place the blocks without marring their highly polished finish. They were centered on blocks of ice and guided precisely into place as the ice melted. After the blocks were in place, the flagpole was dropped through the hole in the center of the block to pre-drill a hole in the mountain. And you can see the reptilian looking skin on these legs and feet and other photos and the cube. The symbols they express according to the sculpture are immaculate immutable calm of intelligence resolutions and the enormous power of the trained physical strength equally enthroned into placid triumphs of scientific accomplishment. Let us now concentrate on the main feature of Hansen's design, the Celestial Star Chart. The Celestial Star Chart for Hoover Dam. Surrounding the base of the Trezo 4 inlaid with a star chart or celestial map, the chart preserves for the future generations the date on which Franklin D. Roosevelt dedicated Hoover Dam, September 30, 1935. 
important stars and figures of the polar region of the sky are shown as it appeared at 8.56 p.m., 2.25 seconds local apparent time on September 30, 1935, when this structure was dedicated. The apparent magnitude of the stars on the chart are shown as they would appear to the naked eye at the distance of about 190 trillion miles from Earth. <laughs> Ten parsecs of it from our Earth. It required three and one quarter side real years to travel the distance at one parsec rate of 180 oh God, 186,300 miles per second. In other words, one parsec represents approximately, approximately 19 trillion miles. The actual distance of most of the stars is more than 50 parsecs. In reality, the distance of most of the stars is more than 950 trillion miles. Section C on my diagram is 142 feet long flagpole. On the star map, the center of the sun is shown at the very center of the flagpole. The positions of the star, including the map, are therein related in our minutes right ascensions from the center of the ecliptic. The true obliquely of the north pole of the Earth's equator is shown in the same manner. All information related to the astronomical theories was verified by the U.S. Naval Observatory, the Smithsonian Institute, and other reliable sources. Section D is the flagpole inscription and recognizes that those who envision and built River Dam, it reads, it is fitting that the flag of our country should fly here in honor of these men who, inspired by a vision of lonely lands, made fruitful, convince this great work of those who genius and labor made it a vision and a reality it's on that black cube again too section e explains a complete side reel evolution of the equinox it reads this diagram traces the complete side reel revolution of the equinox otherwise known as the platonic of a great year the average length of a complete side rail revolution is 25,694.8 tropical years but may differ from the mean time of of revolution by 281.2 years. The main line of the precession of the roll of the Earth's equator shown here by the outside circumference on its white metal circle is 46.9 degrees in diameter. Section F explains the indication of the Earth's equator. It reads, the indication of the Earth's equator may vary relative to the fixed ecliptic from 21 degrees 59 minutes to 24 degrees 36 minutes and a roll therefore mutates in a zone 2 degrees 37 minutes as shown here by this yellow band. Section F. Section G shows... I'll turn that off. I hate that. I don't even know how to close it. Section G shows right ascension to the meridian. Right ascension is the celestial equivalent to terrestrial longitude. Both right ascension and longitude measure an angle that increases towards the east as measured from zero point on an equator. For longitude to zero point is the prime meridian on the geographic equator for, for the right ascension. The zero point is known as the first point of Aries, which is a place in the sky where the sun crosses the celestial equator at March equinox and March is there one of their go to months. Oh, I can't turn that pen off. How do I turn it off? Section G is customary measured in hours, minutes, and seconds within 24 hours being equivalent to the full circle. The reason for this choice is that the Earth rotates at approximately consistent rate. Since the complete circle has 360 degrees, an hour of right ascension is equal to 1 24th of this, or 15 degrees of the arc. A single minute of right ascension is equal to 15 minutes of the arc, and this second right of ascension is equal to 15 seconds of the arc. <laughs> Section H includes a compass in the right side of the monument and it makes a pleasing pattern viewed from above with the 12 signs of the zodiac. I have included Leo sign because it represents a special meaning from above, oh gosh, for significant events that will happen in the Mayan astronomical calendars of the star chart. <laughs> sure. In this section you can appreciate the stoic genius of the designer in Hansen's precession design. I found the zodiac as a lost symbol in the common thread between the Greek Egyptian and astrological ages of the Mayan Great Ages. In mathematical term, Hansen tells me the precession of the five Mayan ages, as Mayans determined an age to be 5,125 years. The number is multiplied by five to produce the number of years of a full precession equals to 25,625 years, a great astrological cycle which includes all 12 zodiac signs last roughly 25,920 years. As Hansen explained, instead of measuring 12 earthly hours, the dials measures a platonic year or great year made up of 25,625 
94.8 of our ordinary years, we cannot be sure of the exact length of the Platonic year because of our civilised story of men, and hence astronomy is at the most only 10,000 years old, but we feel certain that it not, may not vary from the above mean time by more than 281.2 of our ordinary years. So, is it a solar clock to when the countdown happens? I question it all the time. I look at it and think it's got to have something to do with it. Although Henson never mentioned it may involve it in his design, other industrial designers and architects of that area era were heavily influenced by ancient cultures of the deco art style. One architect that comes to my mind is the most known American architect, Frank Lloyd Wright, who used pre-constructed cement blocks to build the Ennis Brown House with Mayan deco features. Therefore, it's obvious, it's in the case of the Chitza Itza, there is a Mayan astronomical concept that describes Earth's precession in star chart, as we see in 2012. More, he based his initial calculations marked in the Terezo, including the position of Pharaoh Khufu's pyramid 5,000 years ago, when Thuban, Alpha Draconians, was the pole star of the ancient Egyptians, the biblical star of Egypt, as well as the incarnation of historical Jesus, marking the beginning of the Christian era, as indicated midway between the location of Thuban and Polaris. By walking to the rear of the base, upon which the rest of the winged figures, one can locate Vega, the pole star that will replace Polaris thousands of years in the future. For the amateur astronomer below, you'll find the astronomical possession data of Hansen's star chart for the year. Uh, yeah. Element 6, seven before. Give a damn. Yeah, I'm not going to go into that. <laughs> but yeah, just it tells you what these photos are about. So, Hoover Dam, El Sinus, and the Hypercube Tuning Fork Angels. It may be that there's a hypercube containment cell associated with the dam, but it's not Rango material in its most direct sense. But it does fit closely enough with the thread for me to want to include it in the series. If you want to get some pretty reference links. Okay. As noted in the previous post of dialogue from Transformers, I mentioned that at the beginning, identifies the AllSpark cosmic cube as having been hidden inside the dam in 1935. Asked if there might be something special going on with the vicinity of Fibon Dam and Lake Mead that relates to Transformers Cube and has stated that some features of the dam suggest there is what I'd like to refer to as the Tuning Fork Angels in the dam's dedication area, these two. And they got the reptilian skin. Plus a few other intriguing elements are features that compare to the ancient monuments are sacred sites elsewhere. These appear to be bear witness Nephilim that may be buried and bound nearby in a hyperdimensional containment system. Let's pick up a thread. I started with the Transformers dialogue. And you remember in the, in the Bible it says that there were four angels um, bound in the Euphrates River. You know, you know they change the names of places all the time. So, yeah. The first seven come up upon the cube. We know it was extraterrestrial because the symbols on the surface match those on MBE-1. The dam was built around 1935 to mask its signal. Four walls of concrete, as thick as four football fields, enable the cube to avoid being detected by any humans or any aliens from outside. The all-spark falling to Earth alludes to Revelation 9, which reference in Rango Part 22. Then the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star from heaven which had fallen to the earth, and the key of the bottomless pit was given to him. He opened up the bottomless pit, and smoke went up out of the pit, and like a smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by the smoke of the pit. Then out of the smoke came locusts upon the earth, and the power was given to him, as the scorpions of the earth have power. Revelations 9, 1-3 I'm not saying the all spark refers to that very star from heaven, an angel, and that it's dimensionally bound inside the structure of the dam. I'm not saying it's not either, but let's keep our eyes open to attend to what the Lord may reveal. There's plenty more to consider. The place is damned and it may be, well be damned. The Greek words for bottomless pit are abyso pariah. Abyso means also means unbound, as well as cistern or pit can only be bottomless bottomless or unbound. If you allow for a higher dimension into which 
space opens, the language of geometry, the most basic of such constructs into the hypercube, the place of the locus is located beyond our familiar three space plus time. You may recall how the presence of Berry Nephilim was signalled in other scenes in Rango in connection with the Abdo Kif dwellings during the zombie apocalypse part 29. Back in part 44, I wrote the technology bridging constructs through which the ancient gods are reintroduced into our domain seems to have two primary facets. One is that the means of re-entry for those bound in the earth at the time of the flood of Noah's day, who received the sentence for a set season 70 generation and whose containment involves an implicit time lock. And the Lord said to Michael, Go and form Samea and uh, the others with them who have associated with women to corrupt themselves with them and all their uncleanness and when all their sons kill each other and when they see the destruction of their loved ones bind them for 70 generations under the hills of the earth until the day of judgment and of, con of their consummation until the judgment which is for all eternity is accomplished 1 a. Enoch 10, 1 Enoch 10, I see evidence that suggests a global network of hypercubes that are containment cells within or by means by which the agents held responsible for the flood of Noah's day are bound. The time lock mechanisms were set for release after passing of 70 generations. Although it's not only witness to this, allusions do appear to be made by the movie Cube 2 Hypercube with its imprisonment cubes duration set for 606 Five, nine. Aaron Hainman and I see pretty convincing evidence that the adversary is bent upon springing the time lock into the containment grid for early release, and we believe he is going to be granted success at this development. The sword, Sovereign Lord will neither be surprised nor unprepared. This means the means of jailbreak will come via contamination of the magic ritual, sex, blood, torture, and animal sacrifice, traumatic magic, merging of species. The, the exploitation of physics and most particularly involved phase of the tuning non-EM and EM are wave energy. I believe what's being sought through CERN's LHC project is the end of the engaging this army according to Revelation 1919 and those projects are all over the world. In light of that potential the government branding the the appended to be monument is rather anonymous. Department of the Interior, Bureau of Reclamation. Are they all about reclaiming something from the interior? The occult pyramid, inverted pyramid, hermetic, maxim and logo suggest that they are. The Venetian blind effect signals the requisite of obfuscation of intent as the controlled filtering of light. There's a concealed letter M signaling the beast number 13 and the pyramid inside the ecliptical eye of Horus inverting the familiar federal eye instead of inside the pyramid cap. The Lord has been granting insight into these things I'm expressing recently. I'm not the only one learning and bearing witness. I've just seen... Uh -huh, uh -huh. Nimrod and the Tower Bell Babel are about the builders. I believe that these people were engaged in cult activities in order to open up the portals so that the fallen ones could come back on Earth. What I've been writing in the last few posts suggests they may have been among their ways and means. So these look like tuming forks and theremin. And these legs, they look reptilian. The figures of the dam that first grabbed my attention was the Winged Guardians. These legs link the dam to many ancient sacred sites, temples and monuments where giant and sometimes chimeric gardens are found. I'll share how the Lord directed my attention to these angelic an figures, which is relevant. But first, I want to present some example of Tom Horn's soddies. Note how the doorways were guarded with figures that were like the subject of magic ritual, even winged fingers. Notice how a box called the Kaiste was used to connection of binding magic, which is perhaps an emblem of the hypercube. So the square box is everywhere. Everywhere you look is, is the black square box. To close the doorway to evil spirits in Babylon and Assyria, a colossal enchanted creatures built under elaborate ceremonies and blessed by the names of Good omens flanked by the palace entries and towering gates of cities while extra precaution was provided through winged figures holding magic devices clearly concealed beneath the entryway floors. It was also important in ancient times to defend one's personal property and private residence against fiendish undesirables. Therefore, 
an adjective meaning to ward off evil. Devices were placed in home doorways, windows, fireplaces, chimneys, with old charms, bracelets and talismans were worn upon the body to protect the individual themselves. The Hebrew prophet Ezekiel made an interesting statement about the such magic bracelets which were worn upon the body and somehow bound spirits. We read, Wherefore thou said, The Lord God, behold, I am against your pillows, magic bands, whereof the you hunt the souls to make them fly, and I will tear them from your arms, and will let your souls go, even the souls that you hunt to make them fly. Ezekiel 13, 20, the Kessel was a magic armband used in connection with a container called the Kais. Whenever the Kais is inscribed in sarcophagi, it is dip tip depicted as a vessel with a snake peering through an opening lid. How the magic worked in and out as the spirit was bound or loosened is a mystery, but it's noteworthy verification of magical properties rep represented by these utilities as discussed in the scholarly work of the sculpture and other artifacts by Philip King and Michael David. In closing verses of Ezekiel 13, the prophet turns his attention to the magic practices whose details remain obscure. Two key terms are Kesselot and Mesopot, Kessel are sewn on the arms, while the Mesopot are made on the head of every height, which has been, which has been understood to mean the heads of a persons of every height. In the following topic, being following the above very closely elaborates in the text, Ezekiel is believed to specifically refer to the dice. Dionysian or the Bechelen magic, which is important in the context of this blog series, when combined in the relate to the two-part binding and loosening questions from God in Job 38.1. Can us though bind those sweet influence of the Pleiades, Pleiades or loosen the bands of iron? The first part of God's challenge to Job here involves the star cluster of Pleiades, which in mythology represents the seven sisters or the teachers of infants of Dionysus. The very priestess who used the Kessler in the case to magically bind the souls that Ezekiel said God would loosen. The second part of God's proposition to Job is equally meaningful. Can you loosen the bands of Orion? Studies in recent years have made intriguing findings that suggest that the Giza Plateau, which according to the Zahai Hauswet, current Secretary of General Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities, was known to ancient Egyptians as the House of Osiris, Lord of the Underground Tunnels, was designed to reflect the constellation of Orion. The three pyramids of Giza do appear to be laid out in a pattern reflecting the three stars of Orion, which is none other than the heavenly representation of Orises. Also, those pyramids are laid out like a computer chip. Today's computer chips, I don't know whether they deliberately copied it, but today's computer chips are exactly the same design. While many assign belief in magical guardians and supernatural bindings to be merely superstitious, a reading of Ezekiel 13, 17, 23 confronts Bible believers with convincing testimony that magical blinding of a spirit is real and that involves rituals and physical elements in our three space plus time. Hoover Dam compares to ancient sites with being guardians and even reference to the Pleiades and a de de detailed star map. I was led to discover the wing features of Hoover Dam during some directed research into the role of acoustics in dimensional boundary manipulation. And when I first laid eyes on the figures, I immediately identified them as tuning fork angels. These 30 foot high bronze wings figures of the Republic were each cast in bronze in a continuous molten steam, not unlike how bells are cast. The 142 foot plague fold between them resonates the antenna relative to the tuning fork angels. It calls to mind a thiamin, a musical instrument with an antenna that works on electromagnetic wave principles, varying in frequency and amplitude to use proximity sensors that directs the player's hands. We'll explain on the role elements shortly. So that the bells and the tuning forks of acoustic frequency generates the Stargate actuators. These three elements may be considered as antennas for broadcasting or receiving. An ongoing TV series, Fringe, plays heavily on the use of technology to bridge dimensions. And the image you see here shows a demonstration that was used to illustrate the principle of being used to open portals through which objects and beings were passing through the universe. Three tuning forks were used to resonate a region containing a migrating object. I see the winged figures of the Republic as tuning forks. The tuning fork angels are set upon black stones that exhibit the style of cubism. 
These cubes are, are angel thrones on black stone. The dam itself is in Black Canyon. A canyon is defined as a narrow chasm of steep cliff walls cut into the earth by running water. The walls are stone, Black Canyon, a black stone chasm through which water flows through a controlled gate mechanism. There can be no dispute of the enormous amount of energy represented at the location, which must be considered a power node filed this way and still I intend to feature the meaning of the rising black stones in a scene where Rango falls to earth. Oh, excuse me. So it goes on to hear about a Cylon, um, the star map, the terrestrial grids, the celestial lights are bound together in time. It is in the record of Genesis, the subject of the fourth day of creation, and biblically, astronomically derives from the reality, and the occult arts of astrology have exploited and continue to exploit and will further exploit the reality of this grid link to grid link. It's like ley lines. So you see an image of the star map with the dam, the prominent name, Cylon. A Cylon is the name of the star in Pleiades, referenced above in Job 38 in the context of binding the star is a metaphor for an angel and there is a legendary giant named Osiris, a star child, a hybrid angel, human, and Nephilim. Legend has it that he was created to destroy the gods. It is a silent, a named star of the star map at the dam, indicating that Osiris is the subject of magical binding at the facility. It is suggested that Silas may be the same as Erman, the king of the gigantics mentioned in the Odyssey. Early in the post, I wrote that Al Spark falling to earth in Transformer alludes to Revelation 9 where we learn a star fell from the earth is given the key of the bottomless pit the star was later in the chapter identified as Polyon or Abaddon they have as king over them the angel of the abyss his name in Hebrew is Abaddon and in Greek he has it at Polyon 9.11 perhaps the silent is the star of silentness it's that angel, Alice, Apollo, and Horus if the name of silent seems familiar it may be through popular work of fiction titled Long Walkers by Steve Quayle and Duncan Longs. Steve says the many elements of the book are factual based upon what he's learned from research over the many years. They present this Nephilim giant in the same way Revelation 9.1 speaks of an angel of the abyss as the king of, over the Nephilim in the book of Silence was found and released from the binding which is now Turkey inside Nimrod Dagi, Mount Nimrod the throne of the gods. The place is considered by many to be the burial place of Antichos if if fiends, the discreter of Jerusalem Temple, who forced the worship of Zeus and remains to this day as one of the most widely recognized types of Antichrist. The Grand Canyon, located not that far from Hoover Dam, is another area identified in Long Walkers as a holding facility for the Nephilim. Whether there is a Nephilim king named Asylinus and whether he might be inside either Hoover Dam or Mount Nimrod, we shall see. While there's plenty I don't know, the following items highlight the Black Canyon Gateway work as noble interest. And also, the dam, which is these, which of these is the model altar of Zeus. So, the dam and the temple. The design of Hubazam represents the altar of Zeus, which is famously referenced in Revelation 2.13 as Satan's seat. And Satan's dwelleth. The dam compares to other models like the Zephyr Tribune built for Nazi Redlines in Nuremberg, the stage set for the Obama's 2008 presidential nomination in Denver, Cecil Rhodes Memorial on Devil Peak in Cape Town, South Australia. The dam is very thick at the base, so that volume compares to the quad inside the altar of Zeus. From Observes of the dam, the new bypass rainbow bridge forms a bow of the clouds, like the contents of Rango's umbrella drink as he travelled to the Biofrost, falling to earth. The eagle spread before the acoustic arrays features a cloud below, though which the portal of the starry heavens appear. The identity of the eagle may be a Silas and company suggest perhaps by Oscar Hansen's explanation of the wing figures. The building Hoover Dam belongs to the sagas of the daring, the wing bronze, which is the guard of the flag, therefore, where the look of eagles to them was also given upon the vital upward thrust of an aspiratal gesture to symbolise the readiness for the defence of our institutions and keeping our spiritual eagles ever ready to be on the wing. There were 112 deaths associated with the construction of the dam 
included that a JT Tiny, a survivor who drowned on December 20, 1922, while looking for an ideal spot for the dam. He is generally counted as the first to die in the construction of the dam. His son, Patrick W. Turney, was the mouse man to die working on the dam's construction 13 years to the day later. Sounds like he was assassinated. Who is sovereign over such things as life and death? My God, is the first and last man claimed to die of the project with father and son, sharing the most basic DNA connection and linked in life and death. Time span of exactly 13 years to the day stamps the Black Canyon work with the number 13, which is the number of most strongly identified with the beast and re related times of revealing. The number also means rebellion and lord. The sign derives the time of signal of 13 from the two men of Tini. The meaning of Tini is lord, master. That is the meaning of bow on one hand. The sign testifies to me that the sovereign lord god oversees the work and every aspect. On the other hand, it speaks of the time and revealing the Marian Isis operations and beast and bow and Osiris. The worship of Bell is the demon god of the Ascal, a region principality at the dam would this be a silentness so the building of the dam around a cube in 1935 and is an instant signaling the cube to number 666 comparing to what i've represented in the movies pi and cube 2 i think so it's those reference to the cube key name the bottomless pit revelation 9 it was in 1935 that j edgar hoover started the fbi although the controversial naming of hoover dam officially involves the 31st president herbert hoover i'm not the only one to think that rather that this is a terrible tribute to the historic and famous freemason the homosexual j edgar hoover the dam was a masonic work of massive scale it was in 1935 that the great seal was incorporated into design by the federal reserve one dollar bill under the freemasons fdr and henry wallace with associate nicholas wright an act that has had enormous impact upon the world I was told by journalists that there are satanic rituals performed there nightly at 3.30 a.m. and the place is called the womb. The man responsible to design and build something fitting for the dedication area obviously knew things. He had been charged by a near-death experience and was commissioned by the Masonic government for the monumental work. It's nowhere near that full. Looks like the 80s, that photo. And now that the water's so low, it's the, the side of the walls are getting damaged. So, yeah, um... I think that's about it that I found. There was another one that I was going to share, but I'll just leave it at this. This has been going for a while. Um, it's pretty late. I like, started this early in the morning, so... Um, yeah, just been busy helping Dad and doing family stuff. And I've got a lot, few videos that I have made. I just haven't had time to edit and put things up and do things, so... Yeah, but, um, yeah, there's lots going on. Goes on about sound like Transformers. This one, it's 726 feet tall, goes from 660 feet wide at the base to 45 feet at the top. They do offer some tours of limited sections of the power plant and some passageways. Keep your eyes peeled for Megatron, anyone? Transformers, remember? The visitor center sees a million tourists every year, making it one of the country's most popular. So, of course, when they closed the inside rooms of the dam, a lot of the gorgeous Art Deco work was lost. Although some of it was moved. So they do have it closed off. Like, a lot of the areas were closed off. I honestly think that if someone deciphered this... Like they've told you the numbers, and if you actually deciphered it, you'd, you'd probably get a closer date to when, what they're going to do. The old town, so Thomas, Nevada. Why would they put a toilet statue there? All across the Boulder City, there are statues honoring men who risked their lives to build one of America's greatest e engineering marvels, the Hoover Dam. Steve Longy is a man behind some of them, like one depicting the sexist, most dangerous job one could have while building the monolith dam high scaler, who dangled in the air, suspended by ropes and armored jackhammers and dynamite to blast away the canyon walls. Statue was totally badass, but something didn't sit quite with Longy when the Boulder City began accepting proposal for public arts installation. He submitted a proposal to honor another Hoover Dam hero, the man who cleaned the, the latrines the city accepted and Luigi wasted LOL waste. No time in erecting a statue to the young son hero of Hoover Dam. A statue depicts album the one man who cleaned the latrines for 7,000 men who worked to build Hoover Dam. Imagine it, one quirky 70-year-old man cleaning filthy primitive toilets in 120-plus degree weather. 
I don't know about you, but I'd like to take high scaling with dynamite any day over that job. Aben was remembered for being kind of an odd bird, but he always had a good attitude and was proud of his work, even though it wasn't the most glamorous job. The statue was modelled on the only known picture of Aben from the 1930s, and it's actually made partly out of an old copper cable from the dam's construction. Huh. The smiley face of Elbum, the toilet cleaning a statue, armed with a broom and extra rolls of TP, is one of the most first things to greet visitors to the town. A little reminder that the building of the iconic Hoover Dam was a messy job, made better by some incredible people. On this side, there's pillboxes too. They took the others away, but there's one left on that side. So yeah. Alright, if you're still with me, thanks very much and hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching. Much love. Bye now. Oh,